Tyne. I'm Graham Johnston. I'm the coordinator of the Duke of Edinburgh Ward program at McMaster's Beach Surf Life Saving Club on the central coast of New South Wales. What we're doing out here is part of the conservation work with uh, group Willow Warriors. We're monitoring and eradicating invasive willow trees. I bring groups of juveniles from the program out, young people from 13 to 20 years, and for them it's experience to see a bit of the country, have some fun and enjoyment, and put a bit back into conservation in an area that we're not used to. And since 2004, we've been very active with Willow Warriors. Members of our club have undertaken six to eight trips per year with Jeff Cottrell's group. We've been working on rivers from the Murrumbidgee, the Murray, Coobagandra, Hawkesbury, Colo, Walgan, and a lot, lot more. The kids that I take away enjoy the challenge, they enjoy the fun of whitewater rafting, and they generally enjoy getting away from the comfort zone along the beaches and getting into some hard, dirty, fun, adventurous work. That's what Duke Event's about at McMaster's Beach. We're very unique. We take on challenges and we offer our participants a lot of fun and enjoyment on the way. We're coming out to treat a willow. That comes out. Inside that, pair of secateurs for cutting small ones. Poison, chisel. There's a small willow tree up there and what, what we do is we get chisel on the side, bang, bang, pull it down, squeeze poison in. If the tree's this round, we may put four holes in it. That's it. When you put the chisel in and pull it down, you've got 10 seconds. Otherwise, the tree will heal itself and it won't absorb the poison. The work we're currently doing with Willow Warriors is unique as far as conservation work's concerned. This is pretty typical of what you see in a lot of the western rivers. I'm going to get right around this bloke and he won't breathe again. The importance to get rid of these willows from our streams and estuaries is mainly due to the fact that several breeds of willow, particularly the black willow and the crack willow, have inundated the smaller streams and creeks. They've overstabilised the riverbanks, they've created vast root systems that have destroyed a lot of the plants and native frogs and animals that generally inhabit a, a coastal or an inland waterway. Apart from that, every leaf, every twig, every stem that breaks off can grow and reproduce more willows. They can throw three to five hundred seeds out. Within 12 months, these seeds can land on nice, wet, muddy riverbanks and grow saplings up to a metre high. You, you can notice there the chisel marks where the poison's gone in. Right around, they've actually poisoned in here. So right around the base of this tree, he's been poisoned. He'll fall apart now and die, but they've done a very good job from him, of this guy. Nice and low, he's been poisoned. There's no shoots coming out from underneath him. So this bloke's dead. He'll be in heaven. And uh, this time next year, he probably won't even be here. Today we've been on uh... A willow kill expedition up here on the Hawkesbury River. Um, we do these uh, a fair few times a year with the kids that are doing the Duke of Edinburgh. It's um, a great program, gives them good insight to some other things other than beach life, um, gives them good personal skills and uh, it's good for the environment and um, hopefully we're prolonging the life of the river with what we do. Whereas some of the other stuff is all about fun, it's good to keep the kids involved with fun but they also need to realise that there's other things in life that uh, like killing the willows and land care, picking up rubbish and all the other things that we do. Um, it, it's not all about fun, but fun keeps the kids interested and we keep them in the program um, right through to their adult life, which is great. I think kids really like to destroy stuff any, um, anyway, so um, to give them something that needs destroying, needs getting rid of, um, because it's actually choking up the rest of our system and the environment because it's actually not meant to be there, I think it's a good thing to put out their natural a child's natural instinct to just want to kind of destroy things or cut things down. Um, it'll be cool to, yeah, to get rid of that, clean up the place. Um, it's just good to see kids develop in this way. It's a fantastic program. Um, the Willow Warriors, the, the land care, the, the cleaning up, and the Duke of Ed itself, it's a fabulous program. 
because certain things aren't meant to be there, but even though they have been brought in, they're not meant to be there. So I say, yeah, good on the young people for getting rid of it. Oh, just getting out there and having a go and stuff. Fun, exciting, and you do it with your friends, and it's new things. I guess it's just different than being on the beach every day. We actually got to like, go out and a little while away from where we do some, most of the stuff. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Slide up the side, slide up the side, give us a push. Slide up the front. Don't need water.